Today we're going to build an electro etcher. The, the plans for this are out on the internet. They've been there for a while. They include a full parts list for buying the stuff at Radio Shack. So I'm going to build it in a paint can. One quart metal paint can from the Home Improvement Store. Uh, basic parts, transformer, bridge rectifier, a couple of switches, a lamp to tell you it's on, a fuse for some safety, and some banana plugs and jacks. Alright, so let's see about getting started. Move some of this out of the way. Take the can. As you see, I've put some blue tape on the can and made a bunch of marks. These are for holes I need to drill, so I'm going to bring the power in from the back, uh, put the fuse in through there, I'll put the light in the center front, the two switches, and then the banana plug jacks. Now, you might be wondering, how does that transformer fit in the can? Well, it barely fits. But you put it in there, you twist it around, and... Works good enough. I'll be pop riveting that down to the bottom. But now, I'm going to turn off the camera, fish this out, oh, there it is, and uh, drill some holes. And then we'll get back to it. Okay, we're back. I got all the holes put in it. And test fit all the components. Uh, now you'll see it's kind of tight in there, and one of the next things I have to do is figure out how I'm going to mount the rectifier in there. Alright, I figured out how I'm going to mount the bridge rectifier. What I've done is I've taken some G10 material and some aluminum angle and popped it up a little block to mount it on. I tapped the mounting hole on the bridge rectifier and got a nylon screw and spacer, attached that down, and then, when it's all said and done, it will get pop riveted inside just about like that. Okay, made some more progress. I got all of the main side plugged in and wired up. I got it all wired up the rest of the way. Got the main, the double pole, double throw switch in there on the low voltage side. Uh, the bridge rectifier is uh, attached in there. And switches work AC, DC, on, off. And as you can see, really, there is no room in there. Don't do this unless you're crazy. Choose a different box to put it in. Um, all that's left is to bang the lid on it. And put some feet on it. And then I'm going to make leads for the banana clips. And we'll have an etching machine. Alright, so it's finished. I even got it labeled. Calling it Whoop Etch. That way I can break out my can of Whoop Etch if necessary. All right, we're gonna give it a try, see how it works. We're gonna plug in the leads. I have here a stainless steel knife. Use some electrical tape to, to mark off an area and we'll try and mark that triangle. The positive lead goes to the piece. We've got some electrolyte. Got a Q-tip. Wet the Q-tip. Get a hold of the Q-tip with the other connector. Turn it on. Is that a DC? And let's see what we can do. Alrighty, now let's flip the 
this over and use the clean end. Switch that to AC. Now, see, been etched, but it's not darkened yet. Actually, switch it to AC, not the middle position, which does nothing. That looks nice and dark. We'll set that back to neutral, turn that off. Move the clips out of the way. Peel off our stencil. And take a look. I think that did pretty decent. There we go. One can of whoop at and it works.